Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another 100 things declutter video. I know I've done two of these fairly recently, but I just feel like I'm on a roll again. I started doing these videos, I think last year April was my first one. And it was super easy at the beginning to find things to get rid of and clear out and that I just didn't want or use. And as I went on and on, it got kind of harder to do. And I went to a phase where it was, I was kind of scraping the barrel to find things to clear out. But now I don't know what's happened or what's changed, but I feel almost as if I'm back at the beginning again. And I just have so much stuff to clear out and I don't know where it's come from. I don't know if it's just because I've reached a different mindset and that that's kind of normal for me now to to not have as much or place as much value on things and want to keep them. I don't know, but I am on a roll. So I have another 100 things for you and let's just get into it. A couple of packs of fondant icing that expired in December 2016. <laughs> couple of packets of couscous that came with a HelloFresh meal. None of us eats couscous and I substituted rice in the recipe and we're not going to eat this. There's nothing wrong with this bowl and I do use it sometimes but I use it so seldom that I'd just rather have the shelf space. I do have other bowls I could use instead of it. Multivitamins that neither of my kids has actually eaten and they've gone all gross. Ditto expired last December. This bag is old, worn out, breaking in multiple places, and the strap is coming loose, so it's time to go. An outgrown hoodie, outgrown pajama pants, some business cards that were in my drawer that I don't need to keep. I had a glass of water, and then noticed that this one had a crack in it. An outgrown rain jacket. A phone case for my old phone. It's also gone kind of yellowy. Another phone case for my old phone. Went to use this Sharpie and it was all dried up. Clearing out my desk and there's a whole bunch of papers that can get tossed. Six by four prints that I entered into the Horticultural Society competition. I don't need to keep the prints. A tea sample that I was given at the gift fair that I'm not actually going to use. This is one of the knives from the guest house and it's actually completely broken. <laughs> this glue was left in the cupboard with the lid turned open and I can't even screw it off. It's all just kind of dried on in there so I can't use this anymore. I'm very sad that my favourite highlighter is now dried up. I like this one because it's not fluorescent. It's like a dull darker pink and I use it to cross off my to-do list but it's not working anymore. I went scratching through our stationery to find another highlighter to replace the one I had to throw away and this one is also dry. This old faded mouse pad, another picture frame, a mouse trap, an old defunct security light, oxalic acid that we don't use, the piles of electronics and computer cables and things is endless. The last dregs of the grout that we used in the guest house like two years ago. We couldn't even work out when or how we use this, so we're not likely to do so in the future. We don't have carpets. We do have a couple of rugs, but this is just about empty and I kind of forgot we had it. An extra tile from the guest house tiling project and the corners chipped. This is a piece of driftwood I found years ago and I've used it for a couple of photography projects, but I never use it anymore. This shower caddy, we just don't use it. I made this chicken wire basket, but I haven't used it in years. Some beach toy bits, I don't even know why we have these. This is a really cute house decoration that I enjoyed for many years, but I just don't use it anymore. A leaf dish I have no use for. Another leaf dish. This ceramic ornament. A couple of red candles. A little ornament. This is from when I used to do those shelf designs. A little kiwi ornament. A shell bowl even as I stood here ready to film it I was like oh that's quite nice maybe I'll keep it no it's been sitting in the garage and I forgot I had it another ornament a wooden apple and pear this candle holder is cute but I don't use it this is one of those windscreen reflector things we just don't use it a jar of some paint that I mixed it's kind of gone dry and another one this is the paint that I painted my old headboard with which I don't even have anymore 
This is the paint we used to paint our bathroom and kitchen tiles like four years ago. Most of the tin is still there. We haven't needed it since and I don't see us needing it going forward. This tin of decking oil is almost finished and probably separated and dried out inside. This is our big double hammock. We just don't use it so I'm going to sell it. A leftover strip of waterproof fabric. Some painting stuff that I've used and washed and used and washed and it's time to just go now. The brushes are getting a bit gross and not working very well. This is the visor for Noah's helmet but he says when he rides it kind of rattles and pulls and if he's not going to use it then we're not going to keep it. A lid for a container we no longer even have. A whole bunch of ice cream containers that were lurking in the cupboard. We really don't need this and it's summer, we're going through ice cream pretty quickly. I can always get a new one if I do need one. Some old stained containers that I don't use and strangely way more lids than I have containers for them. Some tops for homemade ice lollies or popsicles. I don't even know if we have the mold. Some container labels that were lurking in a drawer. I don't use these labels anymore. I've switched to chalkboard. A lid to a container I don't even have anymore. A broken pair of scissors. We have a lot of pairs of scissors, so there's no need to keep one that is really annoying to use. A house plant that did not make it. A couple of hand towels that we just don't use. Also a bath mat that we don't use. A used up candle. A dictionary that Daniel had to have for school a few years back and I don't know why because everything's available online now and it even says so on the book. I found this calendar in the cupboard from last year. We don't use paper calendars. This measuring cup because it's brittle plastic and it's not supposed to go in the dishwasher and I've been putting it in the dishwasher and now it's got cracks in and I'm not keeping a measuring cup that can only measure dry ingredients. I need one that I can measure liquids with too and this one obviously doesn't work. Yet another holy sock. I went to use my cuticle oil and it's actually empty. It looks like there's something in there but it won't come out. The garden festival is over for this year so there's no point keeping these. A kabuki brush that I never use. This bra doesn't give me good support or great shape and for those reasons I never wear it. I haven't worn this little short sleeve cardigan in ages. Some fake flowers that Daniel used for a photography project and no longer needs. These are little brackets that you hang your razors in the shower and they are just gross. I've reached a point where you can't even clean them and we don't even need them because our shower caddy has a space on the sides to stash your razors. This is a recipe book that I got free with a magazine. I've enjoyed the food photography but I'm not going to keep the book. This soap dish didn't actually stay stuck to the wall. It kept kind of slipping and it got really gross and was a bit of a pain to clean. I have a much better soap dish now so I'm gonna let this one go. A pile of kitty hangers. We are all adult size in this house and don't need miniature clothes hangers anymore. An outgrown pajama onesie. A truck nowhere no longer plays with. Ditto. And another one. A pile of old school books. These had the written pages torn out and the boys were keeping them for drawing but this is a whole pile from last year's stole and they about to get this year's so this can go. Outgrown shorts, outgrown pajamas, ditto, a magnetic bookmark that's broken. This is that stuff you put on your nails to stop yourself biting your nails and I don't even know why we have it because we don't have nail biters. Outgrown shorts, outgrown school shorts, more outgrown shorts, outgrown socks, more outgrown shorts, outgrown top, a really crappy flimsy tripod, a pile of old videotapes that the boys were using as props in some silly movie they were making. We don't need to keep these. An outgrown maths book, an A5 ring binder. I hope you enjoyed seeing the stuff that I've cleared out of my house recently. I hope this is motivating for you. I sometimes get messages and comments from people saying that it's really inspired them to get going and to push forward and to clear out some things in their own home and I, I urge you to just start. I set a goal of 100 items not knowing if it was going to be easy or difficult and it was so easy. I can't tell you how easy it was. Maybe set yourself 
a goal of 30 items in 30 days that's just one thing a day for you to find and clear out it feels so so good to just have the space and to have the mental space to know that that's not sitting there cluttering up your home it just feels so good and you're going to want to keep going so i will link over here to the playlist on my other 100 things declutter videos i'm sure that if you watch these videos you'll see things that are lurking in your own home and maybe it'll make you think about getting rid of them thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one